In this video, I'm going to talk about ChatGPT+, the paid version of ChatGPT. The goal is simply to acquaint you with ChatGPT+. ChatGPT+, is a paid version of ChatGPT in which, by paying $20 a month, or 20 euros in Europe, you have access to the GPT 3.5 version, but also to GPT 4. And recently, in the newest version, GPT 4 Turbo, which has significantly expanded capabilities compared to GPT 3.5. At the current moment, they are not accepting new requests as of the time I'm recording this video, because they are saturated, but it is expected that this will open up. ChatGPT Plus gives you priority access to server usage, in addition to allowing you to use GPT-4 if you wish. GPT-4 Turbo has a workspace window of 128,000 tokens, which is around 96,000 words, or approximately 240 pages of text, of which 4,000 can be used for output. This means you can take very large documents, use them as context, and utilize them to analyze information. If you want very large output documents, it won't suit your needs. There is a version using the API and programming that has a workspace of 32,000 tokens, which can be distributed between input and output. So if you want to do larger tasks, you wouldn't be able to use ChatGPT+, but for most use cases, which involve gathering a lot of information and summarizing or extracting parts of it, it's perfect. It excels in mathematics. It's still not perfect, but it reasons better than GPT 3.5. Additionally, having ChatGPT Plus gives you access to new features earlier. In the GPT 4 version, you can upload files, which you can't do with GPT 3.5. If you're accessing it from a mobile device, it allows you to interact with GPT 4 through voice. It also understands images. You can tell it to analyze an image. For example, one of the examples published by OpenAI is a bicycle saddle, and you can ask ChatGPT Plus, tell me how I can tighten this saddle. It also allows you to create specific chatbots by inputting documents or text as context and creating a chatbot that responds based on those documents. Additionally, there's ChatGPT Enterprise, which is not part of ChatGPT Plus, but offers features such as information privacy and not using your interactions to train the model, which can be very interesting for businesses. I'm going to discuss all of this. Entering ChatGPT. Okay, here we have ChatGPT. As you can see here, I can select version 4, which includes DALI. DALI is the image analysis part, and they are currently on DALI 3. It also has browsing capabilities, meaning it allows searching on the internet, you can instruct it to browse the internet. It also has analysis, which is crucial. I didn't include it in the previous slide, but it's noteworthy. You can tell it to take some data, analyze it, and it generates Python code for analysis. Not only does it generate the code, but it also executes it and provides you with the results. You can say, I'll upload this data, analyze it for me, extract key statistics, create graphs, and it will do that for you, presenting the results on the screen. You have a limit of 40 messages every three hours, you can use GPT 3.5 if you don't need that much power, and it doesn't have this limit. You can also use plugins, which I mentioned on the slide but didn't discuss. Plugins are third-party applications that enhance the capabilities of ChatGPT. Okay, let's switch to GPT 4. I already have one set up with GPT 4, all right? Now, this one is 3.5. Let me switch to GPT 4. And this is... Let me check GPT-4. All right, look, here I can tell it to upload a file for analysis. Okay, in 3.5, as you may have noticed, this feature isn't available. Mm, all right, here I've been asking about the 128,000 tokens, etc. Here it shows 4,000 tokens because it's GPT-3.5, which is not browsing the internet. If I tell it to browse the internet, you can see it says that the free version of ChatGPT uses the GPT 3.5 model with 4,096 tokens, whereas the other one has 128,000 tokens. GPT 4 in GPT 4 plus. It also mentions that GPT 3.5 is updated until January 2022, and GPT 4 Turbo is updated until April 2023. 
Okay, so here, look, it has searched this on the internet. All right, because I'm asking about January 2024, which is after April 2023. Okay, more features, I can tell it about plugins. I want to go to a window with plugins. Okay, and I can install plugins to help me answer. This one is from WordFram for doing math, but I can go here and I have a bunch more. I have ones for creating diagrams, for interacting with PDFs, for generating code. There's also ones for accessing Expedia, for accessing Kayak, for searching for trips and asking questions to the travel interface, for generating PDFs, for generating maps, other types of diagrams. Look at the number of things that can be done with plugins, which are third-party applications. Well, more things I wanted to tell you here, here in options. Okay, I can give it instructions. Okay, what would you like uh, ChatGPT to know? Uh, well, 1500 and here, how would you like it to respond is additional context for all your interaction. If you're always going to work in the same way, you can put it here. Okay, also, in ChatGPT+, Plus, we can tell it not to remember conversations in this way. This is here in settings. Okay, in data controls, we can tell it not to save a chat history and not to train, but of course. It provides us with privacy. We can input data that it won't use for training. However, it can be inconvenient for us because maybe we are interested in keeping chat histories like these I have here to interact later and continue a conversation. It gives us privacy but takes away capacity. In contrast, if we move to, I have it here, GPT-4, GPT Enterprise, which is this one I have here, allows you to have security and privacy with the latest version of ChatGPT with data encryption. However, for this, you need to contact OpenAI and get a customized offer. It's not ChatGPT+, which is more oriented towards individual users, and that's what we are working with now. If we go here to the capabilities of ChatGPT+, on the OpenAI website, it tells us that it is much more powerful, has better creativity, and has more reasoning capacity compared to ChatGPT3. It can work with images, as we can see here above. Sorry, going back up, we had it here, okay. Where was this? Let me find it. Here, visual input. You see, what can I do with these ingredients? You provide an image and it responds. And as I was saying about the bike too, I have a picture of a bike seat. Tell me what I need to do to loosen it. And it tells you like, touch this nut or whatever. It has a longer context. Here it talks about 25,000 words, but it already has, as I mentioned, 100,000 words. And then in terms of how it works, the normal chat GPT used to rank in the 10th percentile in the US bar exam and GPT-4 ranks in the 90th percentile, meaning it's only 10% below humans. In the Biology Olympiad, the normal GPT ranked in the 31st percentile and GPT-4 with vision ranks in the 99th percentile. So only 1% of people perform better than this chat GPT. They have also improved its security to avoid unacceptable responses and to hallucinate less, providing more fact-based answers. So they have significantly enhanced it compared to GPT-3. It's like I can create new chats I can explore what others have created, explore. You see, I have a public directory of GPTs that other people have made. Which categories are there? Okay, let's ask. Art, design, and if we want to make our own Look, categories, well, business, content creation, e-commerce, that is e-commerce, education, employment, entertainment, legal. Well, there are a lot of people generating localized chat GPT. How is it done? Well, here it is. Create a GPT, okay? And here it helps us. We have here to configure it. 
well, what do we call it? The description, what instructions are we going to give it? What it, conversation starters we are going to give? And then we can upload files on which it will provide responses, a knowledge base. And then here we have options if we wanted to search the web, generate images, and interpret code as GPT-4 does. So we can also make them public or private. Well, with this, I conclude. this video where I have told you what ChatGPT Plus can do. I've also told you about ChatGPT Enterprise and then the different differences between ChatGPT 3.5 and ChatGPT Plus.